Is he in the court, or do I need to get on court call? We have a certified interpreter in the court. I think there's also one on court call. Um, good afternoon, Mr. Chi. My name is Sherry Merle. I'm the judge presiding in first appearances this afternoon, and we are getting ready to conduct your first appearance. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chi has been charged in two counts. First one being first degree murder, the allegation being that he did unlawfully, willfully, and feloniously with malice of forethought, kill and murder, Zhu Yin. And second count is gun on educational property, allegation being he did unlawfully and willfully and knowingly possess a pistol, a nine millimeter handgun on educational property, that being the UNC Chapel. Um, Mr. Chi, you are charged with possession of a firearm on educational property, and he's charged with the possession, so that's a Class I felony. Just for transparency, Your Honor, as it's listed. Just 
to be transparent, Your Honor, it was listed on the warrant as the misdemeanor classification of that offense. Um, I realize for first appearances that's what we're with, but I do in good faith believe that that is likely to be charged at a later stage, at the felony stage. But what it says on the warrant that I didn't draw <laughs> says that. Um, sir, as your this court believes that it's a class I felony to possess on educational property and out of an abundance of caution I'm going to um, tell him what the punishment is for that offense if I'm wrong it will be a lesser punishment but the punishment uh, for a class I felony in North Carolina is a maximum punishment of 24 months in prison Sir, you're also charged with first-degree murder, which is a Class A felony, and carries a maximum punishment of death and a minimum punishment of life without parole. You have the right, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Interpreter. Mr. Chi, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say about the cases can be used against you. You have the right to an attorney. I am going to appoint the Capitol Defender's Office to represent you. They will assign a lawyer to represent you. Ms. Graves, who is standing with you today in this proceeding, is a lawyer with the Public Defender's Office. They will be working with the Capitol Defender's Office. Do we need to address the issue of bond, Mr. DA? Well, just, Your Honor, the state would ask, he is currently being held with no bond, and, and the state asked the court not modify that condition at this time. I am going to, would you like to be heard, Ms. Graves? No, Your Honor. I'm going to leave the bond at no bond, and do we need to set a date for a probable cause hearing? I am requesting a probable cause hearing. Yes, Your Honor. Um, the state would request September 18th, it's Monday, September 18th. Um, we will set the probable cause hearing for Monday, September 18th. Are there any other matters we need to address today with Mr. Chi? Not from the state. Not from the best Thank you. Chow, do I need to sign anything for you? Uh, no, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor.